hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lex in case you are new here today's video I'm actually going to be cleaning and restyling my IKEA double detox cabinet it is this cabinet back here I have not shown it in a little while because honestly I've been moving a lot of things in and out of there and it's been quite empty not gonna lie so I recently just cleaned my IKEA Rudsta cabinet which is this one here so if you are interested in seeing the process behind that cabinet I will link it up here so that you can go ahead and check that out and then come back to this one and then I will also be doing an additional video cleaning and restyling my Mills bow cabinet as well so today's focus is my double detox right here it desperately needs a retouch and a clean because one of the plants had fallen and it caused a domino effect and a lot of plants fell over so there is like soil everywhere and it's just a mess so today's the day since there's not a lot of plants in here anymore my plan is to take some plants out of my mills bill because my mills bill is really packed and bring them in here and also bring in some of my other plants that I keep in the big shop greenhouse as well that I don't really have out here I don't necessarily know how I want to do it and I don't necessarily know how it's gonna work so I'm about to find out I do tend to get super frustrated sometimes when I'm like restyling the cabinets and stuff like that because I just never know where to put everything. I'm going to utilize some little accessories like risers and stuff like that too. So I'm hoping that it turns out good and I hope that you guys like it. So what I'm going to do now is give you guys a little tour of how it looks before and then at the end I will give you guys the after. So this right here is the double detox. It is kind of dirty because a plant did fall, so all the soil got everywhere. So that's why I'm cleaning it today. So this cabinet is actually two Detoff cabinets combined together. And it has some little minor modifications to get it to work. But I did talk about the process of kind of um, combining them in another video. So I'll link that as well in case you're interested. But it was super easy to do. As you can see, my Anthurium Queens have gone through it. They both have fallen and got totally ripped up. So there's that. A lot of soil here. I have some propagations in here and then the bottom just like has like nothing in it what i would like to do honestly is to mostly make this cabinet an anthurium cabinet i don't know how well that's going to work out but we're gonna see if i have the space to do it because a lot of my anthuriums are kind of big and this is the biggest cabinet that i have so i'm hoping it works if not i'll just figure out something else yeah this is how it looks like and i'm gonna start cleaning it and then i'm gonna show you guys the final reveal at the end
So this is what the cabinet is looking like after I just finished. I decided to do something totally different with this cabinet. At the top here, I decided to move all my anthuriums into here because I feel like they take up a lot of space and since this cabinet is bigger, it makes more sense to put them over here. So over here, we have the anthurium luxuriums. This one is growing really big and wide, so it has plenty of room now in here. I have a little propagation of an anthurium crystallinum down here that I've been growing in pond. This is my anthurium clarinervium and it's also quite big so it has a lot of space in here as well. Up in this corner we have my anthurium brielle exara and then hiding back here is an anthurium king. We have my beat up queen over here and then I have another little anthurium seedling that I don't remember what it is but it is an anthurium. Then underneath of this shelf here we have my anthurium hybrid. This is an anthurium crystallinum crossed with a Bessier af. We have the other crusty looking queen who's struggling. I have a anthurium hybrid. This is a regal x crystallinum and then this is the anthurium doriaki which is definitely going through it because I forget to water it a lot. I do really like how this top section came out. I feel like it's perfect and it fits all my anthuriums in one little space. So at the bottom I did take a few plants from my Mills bow. I took out the Preseal Verde and I put it in this cabinet instead because it is getting quite big. I do plan on cutting it so it's not going to be hitting the ceiling but i do plan on cutting it and then down here we have two syngonium arias this one here and then i have this one here that's growing in pond and then in the back here is my philodendron glorious on a moss pole i moved this one out of the big greenhouse so that i could include it in the cabinet as well and then honestly on this side over here i don't really have much plants to put in here anymore at this point but i did take cuttings of a lot of my mother plants and i've taken top cuts as you can see i have them all here and I'm planning on selling the bottom cut anyway. So I've taken them out of here and I put them in the big greenhouse so that I can get them ready for sale. But up here is this Monstera adansonii. I don't know how to pronounce this one, so I'll put the name on the screen. This one is growing in pond, as you can see. So I stuck this one in the corner for right now. I'm probably gonna move it, but I'm not sure. And then honestly, everything else over here is just propagations. We have a pink princess cutting here. I have a white wizard cutting over here. This is a Syngonium Panda cutting. This is my Florida Ghost cutting. And then underneath of that, I actually cut my big pink princess because the bottom half was super leggy and it had no leaves on it. So it made more sense for me to just cut it and start over. So we have the whole top cut here, rooting in water, I have a philodendron ring of fire, and then my philodendron golden crocodile. So that is really it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about the cabinets and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!